Hey, welcome back. I knew you'd show up. You wanted to know more, didn't you? Of course you did. Well, time is ticking, so let's start before we run out of time. Now today, we will be covering our object classes. All anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena requiring special containment procedures are assigned an object class. An object class is a part of the standard SCP template and serves as a rough indicator for how difficult an object is to contain. In universe, object classes are for the purposes of identifying containment needs, research priority, budgeting, and other considerations. An SCP's object class is determined by a number of factors, but the most important factors are the difficulty and the purpose of its containment. Primary Classes These are the most common object classes used in SCP articles and make up the bulk of the objects. Class Safe Safe classes SCPs are anomalies that are easily and safely contained. This is often due to the fact that the Foundation has researched the SCP well enough that containment does not require significant resources or that the anomalies require specific and consecutive activation or trigger. Classifying an SCP as safe, however, does not mean that handling or activating it does not pose a threat. Object Class Euclid Euclid class SCPs are anomalies that require more resources to contain completely or where containment isn't reliable. This is because the SCP is insufficiently understood or inherently unpredictable. Euclid is the object class with the greatest scope, and it's usually a safe bet that an SCP will be this class if it doesn't easily fall into any of the other standard object classes. As a note, any SCP that's autonomous, sentient, and or sapient is generally classified as Euclid due to the inherent unpredictability of an object that can act or think on its own. Object Class Keter Keter class SCPs are anomalies that are exceedingly difficult to contain consistently or reliably with containment procedures after being extensive and complex. The Foundation often can't contain these SCPs well due to not having a solid understanding of the anomaly or lacking the technology to properly contain or counter it. A cater SCP does not mean the SCP is dangerous just that it is simply very difficult or costly to contain. Object Class Thamuel Thamuel class SCPs are anomalies that the Foundation specifically uses to contain other SCPs. Even the mere existence of Thamuel class objects is classified at the highest levels of the Foundation and their locations, functions, and current statuses are known to few Foundation personnel outside of the O5 Council. Object Class Neutralized Neutralized SCPs are anomalies that are no longer anomalous, either through having been intentionally 
or accidentally destroyed or disabled. Object class, Apollyon. Apollyon class SCPs are anomalies that cannot be contained, are expected to breach containment eminently, or some other similar scenario. Such anomalies are usually associated with world-ending threats or a K-class scenario of some kind and requires a massive effort from the Foundation to deal with. Object Class Archon. Archon class SCPs are anomalies that could theoretically be contained, but are best left uncontained for some reason. Archon SCPs may be part of constant reality that is difficult to fully contain, or may have adverse effects if put into containment. Non-standard object classes the following object classes are subclasses that supplement the object's primary or former classification. Explained. Explained SCPs are commonly articles about anomalies that are completely and fully understood to the point where their effects are now explainable by mainstream science or phenomena that have been debunked or falsely mistaken as an anomaly. Esotric slash narrative classes. Esotric object classes, also occasionally referred to as narrative classes, are object classes that do not fall into any of the above sections. They are generally only used once, and are created to further the narrative in a particular SCP. It is highly recommended that SCPs use one of the standard object classes listed here. While some authors choose to introduce exceptions to these rules, they are only very rarely done, and need to justify their existence and placement. Many site members will downvote for non-standard object classes if used without merit. Decommissioned Decommissioned SCPs are an object class that was used by senior staff in the past to not only delete unwanted articles, but place them in sort of a wall of shame to serve as examples of what not to do. This object class is not used anymore. Decommissioned articles is not done anymore, partly because such heavy-handed edits by SCP staff are no longer allowed, and partly because decommissioning ended up backfiring. Object classes frequently asked questions. What is the locked box test? The locked box test is an informal guideline used to determine an object's most appropriate object class. It goes as such. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and nothing bad will happen, then it's probably safe. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and you're not entirely sure what will happen, then it's probably Euclid. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and it easily escapes, then it's probably Keter. If it is the box, then it's probably Thaniel. If you can't fit it in a box, and it's about to end the world, then it's probably Apollyon. If you could have it locked it in a box but chose not to, then it's probably Archon. Note, 
that is a special consideration, something that is autonomous, alive, and or sapient, is almost always at least a Euclid class. That is, if you lock a living thing in a box and forget about it, it will eventually suffocate or starve to death. And that's not a good outcome. Something that is intelligent could also end up being smart enough to outwit its containment procedures and or stop cooperating with the Foundation's attempts to contain it, making it more dangerous than it otherwise might be. And now, finally, if an SCP is very dangerous, should its object class be higher? Now, right here, that's not very necessary. Since danger does not really affect an SCP's object class, as has been reiterated several times above this, an item's object class is more based on the difficulty of containment rather than the danger it otherwise poses. For example, a button that can destroy the entire universe when it's pressed would be safe, whereas a cat who randomly switches places with another cat anywhere on Earth would be considered Keter. And do you hear that? That sounds like that's all the time we have for today, isn't it unfortunate? But I know you will come back. You will come back and hear the rest. Before we proceed any further, Don't forget to have a good night and sleep tight. You're appreciated.